IVF programs come in all sizes. Some, like IVF-1, have a single doctor. Others have multiple doctors who do IVF. The largest IVF programs can have more than 20 IVF doctors. Most of my patients try to pick and choose IVF programs by which one has the highest success rate. You need to be cautious about choosing a large IVF program because you could get stuck with a bad doctor at a good program. Stay tuned. Fertility doctors like to work at large IVF programs because they have to work less often. IVF programs rotate responsibility for doing egg retrievals and embryo transfers among all of the doctors in their group. For example, if there are five doctors in your IVF practice, each doctor likely covers one day during the week and every fifth weekend. The doctor you get for your embryo transfer is based completely on chance. Checking the pregnancy rates of a program doesn't help you because the statistics are for the entire program. They don't break it down by each doctor in the group. Let's use our previous example of a five doctor IVF group. Let's say the pregnancy rate for the program is 50%. This doesn't mean that every doctor in the program has a 50% pregnancy rate. One doctor could have a 70% pregnancy rate and another could have a 30% rate. If they do about the same number of embryo transfers, it still averages out to about 50%. In fact, the only way you can determine the pregnancy rate of an individual doctor is if there is only one IVF doctor at the program. But does it make a difference? Are there actually differences in the pregnancy rates based on the doctor doing the embryo transfer? Actually, there have been a few studies that have looked at this question. The most recent was published earlier this year. This was a pretty large study involving over 30 doctors and nearly 20,000 embryo transfers over 10 years. They performed some fancy statistical tests, ignored the doctors who did very few transfers, and came out with some pretty amazing results. The odds of success for the worst doctors was almost 16% lower than the average for the group. And the odds of success for the best doctor was 13% higher than the average. Comparing the actual pregnancy rates of individual doctors revealed that some doctors had a pregnancy rate that was four times higher than the worst doctor. Another interesting thing that they found in the data was that the best pregnancy rates were not necessarily the doctors who had the most experience. Our Infertility TV bottom line is this. Patients should be aware that there are important differences in their success rates based on which doctor does the embryo transfer. The only way to know for sure the pregnancy rate of your doctor is to choose a program like IVF-1 that has only a single physician. If you like this video, remember to like this video. If you have an idea for a future episode of Infertility TV, leave it in the comments. Subscribe now. Infertility TV publishes a new episode every week. It's like having a fertility specialist in your phone.